Hello, everybody. My name is Alex, representing Straat. Today, we're shooting the very first installment of our Straat Studio Talks, where we'll be visiting an artist from our collection in their studio space. And today, we're visiting Fake, the man responsible for the iconic Super Nurse, definitely one of the most recognizable street artworks to come out of the Netherlands since forever. And we'll be visiting his studio on the east side of town to chop it up about art, his career, and of course, his studio space. Let's roll. Please introduce yourself. Uh, my name is Manuel. Uh, I work on an artist named Fake. And I'm a street artist, stencil artist from Amsterdam. Can you describe your studio process? A studio process? Um, when I come in, uh, I put the heat on uh, to make it a little bit cozy. I start warming <clears throat> my cans. Uh, I put the blower on so my paint will dry faster. And then I'll start painting backgrounds. Uh, once they're done, I'll start doing the process with my stencils and watch paint dry. <laughs> Watching paint dry is my main business, actually. <laughs> I, I've changed studios quite a lot, um, and I've been in the most incredible places. I had an old paint factory where all the old machinery is still there. I've been in a, a church. I had a studio space in an old school building. Uh, and now I'm in this concrete dungeon underneath the metro tracks. And my studio is a, a place where I can empty my cans without anyone complaining. Can you describe your creative process? Well, I get my inspiration from life and things that happen in the world. When I have inspiration, I'll start drawing and taking pictures and uh, editing them on my computer. And I make a collage actually of what I want to make. And eventually that will become a design that uh, is digital generated. And I'll print it out. And once it's printed, I'll start cutting it by hand each layer uh, after each other. Your super nurse is on display at Straat. Can you describe what this work has meant for your career? Um, well, it has put my life upside down. I got so much attention, so many interviews, so many requests from people who want to buy the artwork. I got a huge following uh, online. Well, you see your work in museums, uh, you see it uh, projected on hospitals, eight stories high. It's crazy what happens. How do you make it as a full-time artist? Well, making it as a full-time artist, it's hard to give advice on that. But I think if you follow your passion and you do something you really believe in and uh, enjoy doing, it's possible to make it as a full-time artist. What's next for you? I'm working on a big solo show here in the Netherlands um, with uh, really big works, uh, bigger than I used to do. So that was a, it's quite a challenge. Um, and I hope to uh, do that this year. 